Welcome back to Out of Football. Today's review is on the Under Armour Spotlight football cleats. I got these in the gold colorway, and if you saw my unboxing, you got a little preview as to what these cleats are about. In this video, I'm going to give you guys the detailed breakdown. I'm going to compare them to the Under Armour Speed Form cleats, which you may be familiar with. I did review them on this channel. I'll tell you guys more about both cleats. So without further ado, let's get into the review. Now I did go over some of the initial technology in the unboxing of this video. I'm going to do the same thing here so you don't have to flip back and forth between that video. But the good thing about these cleats, or the new technology that's in both the speed form and really the spotlight, is the seamless heel cup. It talks about right on the cover here. Uh, it also has the external heel counter. It has V56 technology. That's this right here. It prevents uh, overflexion or hyperextension of your foot. And then you've got the clutch fit, which the clutch fit is really just the technology in the shoe that allows to adapt to your foot. So on the footbed, on the sides, on the inside of the upper, on the tongue, the more you wear it, the more depth your foot. This is no different than the Speed Forms that came out last year. They pretty much are the identical cleat. So if you want to take, if you've seen the review on this or you've worn these, you know exactly what this cleat is about. There's not very many changes that make it worthwhile at all to purchase these if you already have these cleats. With that being said, one of the design differences is just going to be the name itself. So Spotlight is not written here. There's nothing right there. Or as you see, speed form is written on the side of all the speed form cleats. Here's a look for comparison. If you look at the toe box, you see that it has the ridges on there for the design of your actual toe. I kind of like this. Uh, this one gets rid of it. And that is the difference that it makes is in the design. When you wear the shoe, you actually get here the compression on the toe. And so you get the wrinkles, you get the creases on the toe box where it doesn't appear. Uh, as much on this cleat. You still get them, but because of the outline here, it kind of holds the toe box in position and it, it makes it look a little more durable. It makes it look like the cleat will last throughout a uh, season a little bit longer in terms of just the aesthetics portion of it. Other than that, these cleats are the same. The colors are a little bit different, right? Uh, when you get to the bottom of it, you know, again, these are the spotlights. These are the special edition spotlights. Uh, they come in a variety of colors, but other than that, I mean, this is just a gold plate. This is a silver plate. Or a chrome plate still has the same warning label at the bot the bottom that I took off here uh, but for all intents and purposes again it's the identical cleat so before I get into the detail review because you already know about this cleat you don't have to watch this whole video uh, the price difference right now this is $130 and you can find these if you can discounted for about hundred these design wise the gold is a very very hot color everywhere I wore these cleats, I got comments on them. People could not stop looking, could not comment, stop commenting on them. Uh, even in pictures, in video, it does not do it justice. I'm looking at the screen right now and it just looks so different. Uh, it's very shiny, but not over the top. It's a very just solid color, draws your attention, but it looks very premium because of the gold um, in it. And it actually has silver here, which is a nice touch, like a silver chrome. And then it has black and gold in the laces, so it's got some gold flecks. Uh, in the lacing. Other than that, the entire cleat is gold. Uh, so talking about the traction, it's got the identical traction plate, same thing that it had on the speed forms, I think very close to the blurs, uh, but that rating was 7.5 on the speed forms and the same here, 7.5 out of 10. This is a very lightweight cleat for Under Armour, it's probably their lightest I believe. Uh, one interesting thing, they feel the same in my hands, feel the same in my feet. But if I look at the actual weight, the official weight, these do weigh in at one ounce heavier. I'm not sure why, if it was just the actual material of the gold over the entire shoe that got it to weigh one more ounce. Uh, but these did weigh in at 9.8 ounces, where the Speed Forms weighed in at 8.6. Again, it's not something that I could actually feel when I wore the cleat, uh, but did want to call it out for you guys. It's still got a 9 out of 10 for weight, because it's a super lightweight cleat. Something that Under Armour excels in, uh, especially with the clutch fit, speed form, all of that technology that really compresses to your, your body or the parts of your body, whether it's the gloves or the cleats, is the fit. This is no different. Speed forms had a great fit. Uh, these do as well. This is true to size. Again, just like the speed forms, it adapts to your foot, um, adapts to the shape of your foot. So this is the hands down best fitting cleat that I've ever worn and it gets 9.5 out of 10. Ventilation was the same here as in the Speed Forms. Um, there's just not a lot of breathability overall. My feet didn't feel exceptionally hot, um, but there is not a lot of uh, places for your air, for your foot to actually vent or for airflow to come in and across uh, your foot. When you look at the material, you know, it's a seamless fit. 
Um, it doesn't have um, you know any cutouts for any ven type of ventilation or anything like that. So got the same rating again, of course, as the Speed Forms. They are identical cleats, uh, 7.5 out of 10. Last two things I want to talk about are the cushioning and durability uh, in terms of the IKF ratings. And the cushioning is great on this. Um, you know, I called it out before in the other cleats, but they actually have some type of pad. I don't know what type of cushion is in here, uh, but it is solid. You actually don't have a breaking period. Um, so I don't know what type of foam, um, but it does cover the entire footbed. Um, it's, a, it's a nice feeling. So, and actually, if I could zoom in, yeah, even throughout the arch, there's support through there all the way to uh, the bottom of your, of your toes. Um, but overall, this is a very good cushion cleat, uh, one of my favorites, and for that reason, it got a 9 out of 10 for cushioning. Durability now, same thing. It's a solid shoe. It's a seamless fit uh, or seamless upper. Um, the only thing was the chrome bottom, of course, which is going to chip. So they keep making these cleats in chrome. They look phenomenal when you take them out of the box. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I've wore these, you know, just a couple of times. Again, you can already see it's starting to chip right here. Um, they give you the warning, but all of them, I mean, I can't even imagine using these for a whole season. You know, the bottom of the plate is not going to look like that. So, uh, and then you have the creases on the toe box, but it's still got an 8 out of 10. I did mention that these are the limited edition spotlight cleats and there are a few colors available. So they do have a silver chrome colorway. Uh, again, it's gonna look much different in person. I haven't seen those in person, but judging by how these looked in pictures and how they look in person, I expect them to be very shiny. They do have a flower um, or floral, excuse me, a floral colorway. Some of you guys may be interested in that. Um, I think it's actually kind of ugly. And then they do have the Stealth White and the Stealth Black as well. So you can pick these up, search the Under Armour website. They do retail for $130 um, and they're getting into some strong competition. Uh, all of the high-end, low cleats uh, for the top three brands, you know, looking at Nike, Under Armour, and Adidas are all coming in between $120 and $130. Uh, if you look at previous years, you know, Nike was always at the top. They had a premium low top cleat that was, you know, over 150, 180, 200. Um, and Under Armour and Adidas were kind of in the $100 range. But as cleats improved from Under Armour and Adidas, those prices went up. And as the competition increased, Nike's prices went down. Uh, so that's good for us. Uh, but you are going to be looking at that $130 range for these cleats. So that's my review. Be sure to check out my Instagram where I will post pictures of these on foot. Be sure to check my cleat playlist for this cleat review, for the speed form review, and for all the cleats I reviewed on this channel. Be sure to tell your friends, check out my other videos, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.